inform Hu Yun of Hong Kong. Announcing the singles players on to court. Porn tip Burana Prasatsuk against this lady, the Korean Sang Ji Hyung. Porn tip Burana Prasatsuk, twice a medalist at World Junior Championships, a silver and a bronze. For some time, she's got huge potential. And I suppose ever since Sun Ji Hyun was born, people have assumed she'd have potential because, of course, she's got very famous badminton parents Kim Young Ya, her mother, and Sun Hyun Kok, her father, both of them elite badminton players in world terms. So for the Korean, Sun Ji Hyun wanting to emulate what she did three years ago in 2010. But Porn Tip, 13 in the world ranking. She has been as high as eight. And you look at her win and loss record for last year. 19 individual tournaments, winning one of them, the Vietnam Grand Prix. Now, her path through to this quarterfinal, she had to play against the number one seed in the first round, the current Olympic champion, Lee Xie Rui. It was 7 all in the first game when Lee Xie Rui retired, injured, so that only took seven minutes. And then in the second round, she had to play against the 17-year-old PV Sindhu of India, two straight games, as you saw there. Well, Sung Ji Hyung up one place in the world ranking this week. World rankings, of course, published on a Thursday, so yesterday went back up to number seven, where, of course, this is her highest rank. She did spend three weeks at number seven previously, so this is her fourth week in total at that high status. Both of her matches in two straight games qualify her teammates in the first round, Lee Mingju, and then in yesterday's match against number seven seed, Zhang Yang Jiao. Again, two straight games, and Jiang Yang Zhao, incidentally, was the finalist last year. Now, as you can see, that's this will be the seventh meeting between these two players, and honours are shared on the previous six. The last time they met was at the Denmark Open last year, and as you can see, won by Sun Ji Hyun in three games. There are Ampa, Sumiko Ito, and Patricia Gubb from New Zealand. And of course, Sung Ji Hyun, apart from being a beaten finalist at this event back in 2010 when she lost in the final to Wang Shashian, also beat en route to that final the world Good number one pray. at the time. Tina Baum, and then two years ago, reached the semi-final, where she lost out to the eventual champion, Wang Yi Han, but in the quarter-final, beat another world number one at the time, and that was Wang Sin. So to beat two world number ones at the time in this particular tournament, she obviously likes playing at home. And it really was the Korean Open back in 2010 that shot her into the limelight as an 18-year-old reaching the final of the Korea Super Series. Of course, the Premier Super Series didn't come in until 2009. 
two years ago, was it? Uh, 2011 and 2012, we've had Premier events. So of course, this is the third year of Premier status. And incidentally, this Korean Open, on the new cycle of Super Series for 2014, will no longer be a Premier Super Series event. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Polonti Brana Prasatos Tyron. And on my left, Son Chi Hyung, Korea. Son Chi Hyung, two sub. Level play. So our umpire calls for this quarter final to get underway. Sung Ji Hyung of Korea. <laughs> A 21-year-old born here in One, Seoul. Love. Against Pontip Barana Prasatsuk of Thailand. Service over. One, all. And Jim, I know we've been talking at length previously at other events we've worked on together about what an exciting time it is in the women's singles for so many years there's been an automatic assumption that if one chinese player doesn't win it will be another of the very oh. very strong chinese women's singles squad but so now we have a situation Two, in the world badminton. we have literally four or five youngsters from thailand alone that are challenging the top chinese players we've got two from korea a couple from taipei two from uh, oh. india We've got some good young so Japanese sober. women singles players Ten. as well. I think it's probably the most oh. exciting Olympiad four-year period in, in the build-up to Seoul that we've probably had as far as women's singles is concerned. It is definitely, uh, it's definitely different times. Ah. And uh, um, we can also so see that, that in these uh, countries where, where these two uh, really, really good uh, uh, women's badminton players, singles players are coming up, they have really worked on it for a long time. And now you you just see the can you say the benefit of it um, it's good it's uh it gives way more exciting tournaments um, Four, you never really know who's two. gonna come out on top and it will be i think over the next year as you said it will be more you, we will see more different winners you won't you see the same every time you'll see different countries winning so yeah it's only good for the sport yeah, very much so. Well, you look at uh, this particular Hi. lady, this young Sung Ji Hyung, and I'm looking down the list of players that she's beaten. In 2010, when Tina Baum was world number one, beat her. In 2011, beat Wang Sin when she was world number one. So she's beaten Yang Shang, uh, Jiang Yang Jiao, so Wang Shoshan, Wang Yi Han, three, Wang Sin, five. three times. Yeah. You know, beaten all the top Chinese players. It's amazing. Uh, it's it's just still tells you the quality that she has, um, and she's not finished. Absolutely not finished with developing. So, uh, so the sky's the limit. Six, three. And, the and you have all coach. these uh, you have all these Thailand uh, players coming in. Just you know, this guy must have a really really good job because he comes to training every day and. Uh, Training kind of produces itself with that many good players. It's a great rally. Yes. What I like about the, the, the Thailand situation is that they must have they must have taken these young girls in, in an early age and kind of spoke to them and said, okay, how, how do we compete with, with the Chinese? And, you know, how do we do that? And they seem to have gotten all the girls on the same page yeah. to not compete with each other, but mm. to compete against the other countries. Uh, and that gives a good training uh, when you suddenly focus on, you know, 
helping each other in the training and, and getting the maximum out of it for, and, and leaving, as you say, leaving the egos back, uh, back home and, and, and Seven, have a really good training. So. Yeah, and of course, success breeds success. If you've got good sparring, sparring partners, then you're all going to improve anyway. But I, I find your comments an absolute eye-opener. <laughs> Because to me, there are far too many countries, over. especially Five, in seven. Europe, where all the players are worried about being the number one in their country. Am I the best in my country? What you've, you've just said to me is that the Thailand players are not really worried who's number one in their country. They're all worried about who can win a Super Series event. Porn Tip has already done that. Who can do really well in Super Series finals? Imton on did that. Seven. You know, they've got all these players that are doing so well. Sapsalari, Jindapon. You know, there's a whole list of them. Yeah. And they can see it now. They can see the success they're yeah. having. So it's... it's, it's uh... Yeah. Sabisaber. You can almost see it in them. They, 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 you know, they're just happy Eight. when, when a Thailand player is doing well. So. And it's one of the things there is difficult in badminton. Badminton is an individual sport, but without uh, a good, can say, team training, you don't produce good badminton players. So. Service yeah, over. Seven, eight. not just the disguise I mean how many women singles players would think of playing that shot yeah. well, this is something I've mentioned before I think that we will see more and more that girls starting to use these uh, trick shots as we, as we can call yeah. them also you know so they, they will have more deception shots Eight, and, uh, nine. I think that will come more into to, to play with the, I especially think some of the Thailand players have a lot of you know weapons uh, yeah. It's not so uh, static, the uh, game, as we've seen over the years with, with Lady Singles, I think. You will see, we'll, we'll probably see more players also try to jump smash. Uh, yeah. uh, um, ah! So there's a lot of areas where you can see that, you know, uh, it's something that they're Eight. exploring out in, 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 in training and trying to create that advantage when they come out in tournaments. So. Oh, there you go. No. <laughs> oh, it's landed on the line. 11 8 interval. So to the interval. Sang Ji Chang with a three point advantage. But this is why, you know, the first half of this game, this is why I'm so excited about women's singles nowadays. I think that. In all honesty, and I hope I'm not being unfair here, I think that there was too many coaches around the world when the Chinese players were dominating, and we could clearly see how physically fit they were, how fast they were in court. And it was almost that we got blinkered till we've got to just work on the physical side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, everybody's realized that the skills the deception, the awareness, the tactical ability, the tactical nous is just as important. Because everybody can get physically fit and, and get to a certain speed of movement around the court. What makes players so quick is the fact that they're anticipating it. They're building the rally to make your opponent hit in that certain place. And they build the rally with this deception. And the mental part of it as well. It's yeah. just as important, you know. Uh, I think I think over the years the Chinese players well, have had that advantage over, uh, especially in ladies' things, over the, the other countries where, you know, they were always up, they were maybe up 10 nil before they started, just on respect. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and it seems like they've, they've broken down the barriers and that, mm. some of the other girls. And, and that's, that mental game is just as important. Going for placement and angle rather than 
power. And just picking up on that point you've made, Jim, I think I can pinpoint exactly when the attitude really started to change. And I think it was when Tina Baum, as an unseeded player, out of nowhere, beat five Chinese-born players back to back to win the 2007 Japan Open. Exactly. Service all over. of a sudden, other players, Nine, other nationalities, 13. all started to believe, believe yeah. the Chinese could be beaten. Yeah. And I mean, no disrespect to Camilla Martin from Denmark, no, who of no, course... No, 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 but Camilla come out, came out herself, so I never did that. Yeah. So that's, you're not, you're not uh, disrespecting her at any point, because she's, she just said that accomplishment was for her, in her, they never did it. Yeah. So, so uh, um, she actually thought it was one of the... In Denmark, uh, there was a vote every year for the biggest sport uh, uh, achievement. And she actually came out, and so she fought that Nine. Was really top three. Because uh, she knew how difficult it was, and, yeah. and, um, and you're totally right. I think you. I think that was an, an eye opener for yeah. the many of the other girls. So, um, and it's just so good for for for, for lady singles yeah. that you have those uh, that competition. Now we also see Juliana Schenk yeah. uh, uh, doing really really well, and, and when you see her play, you, you can. Uh, you can see she, she really, really 15, has no respect nine. anymore. She, she believes in what she's doing. Yeah, of course, up to number four in the world ranking, Juliana Schenk. But yesterday, beaten by another one of these young Thailand players, Jindapon. You know, so far, I mean, we've, we've, we've talked a lot about women's singles in general, but, you know, just looking at this specific match, and there's no doubt in my mind that Sung Ji Hyun is commanding the rally. She's, she's taking the initiative, and all Pong Tip is doing at the moment is reacting to it. Yeah, trying to survive. Yeah. Uh, but it's funny with, with, with Sung so, uh, She's Service very over. powerful, but she still Ten. comes in with these Six cuts, and mm. sticks, and deception shots, and it doesn't, you know, she doesn't really look like she's really in panic or anything. She, she just takes the points, yeah. and she's up with six points now, and, and it's just so frustrating for, for 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 an opponent that you know they don't really know how how did I come in this situation, you know. Service over. And it might seem like that was an easy mistake by Ponte, but it's the, the cut shot that that uh, that Sung makes that is you know she expects a harder shot, yeah. and that means she needs to put power in that shot herself to put it to the net. And uh, it's, it's those things she's really really good at, Sung, really really good at. Yeah, Eighteen. Uh, looks as if Ponte is desperately trying to play winners when she hasn't really beat a rally. First. Oh. Yeah, it's a pity. Taking more initiative in that. Service rally. over. 11, 18. Ah, sorry. Oh. 18, oh, sorry. Out. 19, 10. Again, just emphasizes the point on the skills. Yeah. Service over. So you one thing, the next step for for these ladies singles. Twenty. Game is point. Eleven. You can talk about premier and super series and whatever. The next step is to have that confidence. Uh, at the Olympics. Game point. Oh, good shot. 
well saved. Goodness me, there was me saying you can't play winners <laughs> early on in the rally. What do I know? Plenty. Just eight more of those. She's back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is lovely. Yeah. A cut again. Yeah. Super way to close out the opening game. Son Chishon, 21-13. Yeah, it really looked very smooth and very impressive in that opening game, did Sun Ji Hyung. 14 minutes for 21-13. As I said, the, the next step for these girls is when we come to their world championship and an Olympics that they, they also have that confidence and that, you know, uh, take a bit of the respect of. So there the Thailand coach. Code one, twenty second. Code one, twenty second. Probably one of the most animated coaches you'll ever see. He's <laughs> a great second character. Game. Have you ever chatted to him? No, no, oh, no, no, he's, no. A, he's a super man. He's always smiling. So very, no, very passionate. Very friendly. Yeah. His desire for his players to do well. Thanks for sure, he never gives up. <laughs> so. One, love. Oh, that, oh, oh, dear, dear me. Oh, Two, dear. love. Yeah. Well, I hope we can see that again. Because that, to me, and I think the think line just was a little bit affected off Song showing it, showing if it was in and out. And mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you are. And you can always tell what he's thinking by his expression. Well, it's a great shame we didn't see that again. It from that angle, unfortunately. A little bit too many mistakes. She needs Three, to see if she can rally one. a little bit more, you know, maybe change the pace a little bit. If it's everything is is, is on uh, is on songs uh, uh, terms, so.
such contrast, isn't there, between the Thailand coach and the, his expressions and Porn Tip, who you, you never know what she's thinking of, <laughs> whatever changes her expression at all. Service over. Four, three. Service over. Four. All. Not that many rallies in the beginning. A little bit of tense play for both. Well, I think there was slight hesitation. Service over. Horn tip as to she should have played that shot on. Four. Not. A little bit more patience, you know. Uh, she's, she's opening up too, too, too quick with her cuts and sticks and smashes, you know. Play the rally a little bit longer and then maybe set up. See again, no patience. Six, Not only is it just smashing the net, but it's you can see it again, it's also smashing the middle of the court. Mm. Uh, um, and that's, I mean, this is one of the big contrasts, isn't it, between singles and doubles. Singles is about patiently using all the court, all four corners of the court to try and out, uh, get your opponent out of position. Whereas doubles, you try and force the situation yeah. more. Seven, four. But here we are again, you know, uh, Song is not really, she hasn't really done anything special, but she's up with three points again. And that's her, her strength. Uh, mm. You know, she just takes the points. And and somehow the opponents, we saw it yesterday also, somehow, somehow the opponents feel that they have to make the shot extra better. And and that gives them, see here, you know, it doesn't have to be that close, but no. she, she's forced to try and put it closer, and that Four. means she makes more mistakes than she has to. So there's something in Sung's game that, you know, puts that pressure on an opponent. So that's a, it's a good quality to have. Oh, well played. Fantastic. Nice. Not only well played, uh, but also she's moving. Around really tactically well. She's standing. She she almost reading the shot before uh, Bon Tip is hitting it. So well played. Look how she's standing far uh, far up. Knows that the drop shot can only come and then just plays it. She she kind of knew it also. <laughs> uh, five straight points. But a very different complexion on this second game, hasn't it? Good shot. Make that six straight points for four all. Ten, four. Good quality, very good quality of play by Sun. Sun Sang Mo. You can Lee look at Pawn Tip, she's looking a little bit on the other court, and you know, maybe she needs the Thailand coach now to really come with some good advice. Constantly being forced around court, as you can see. Yeah. Constantly chases her around. On tip is running constantly. See, look at that. Gotta give credit to Song. She's playing really, really well. Eleven four interval. Seven straight points. Absolutely in command, as you say. Real demonstration in singles tactics that last rally from Sang Ji Hyung. So 11 4 the advantage here in the second game, having won the first. Code 1, 20 seconds. Code 1, 20 seconds. Mo. Was 
silver medalist in the men's singles in Athens in 2004, lost out to Taufik Hidiyap. Well, I was mentioning that uh, the Korea Super Series next year will no longer be a premier event, but there's wonderful news in that there's going to be a new Super Series tournament, and that's going to be held in Australia. Four. It's going to be part of the Super Series for the first time. Play. I personally think it's absolutely wonderful that we've got a, another Super Series tournament in another continent yeah, it's fantastic. within the world, because the 12 Super Series tournaments currently are just span Europe and Asia. Yeah. So the fact that we've moved into another continent I think is a Play. huge step forward for the development and promotion of our sport globally. But it's also showing that there's more people who, who has uh, discovered the, the, the game of badminton and uh, discovered how, how, how what a wonderful sport it is and probably have tried it themselves now and found out how difficult it actually <laughs> Yeah. It's to play Rampton, um, it's, uh, it's just fantastic. Oh, that's unbelievable. Oh, these sideways dangled Four. fast drop shots or stick shots as you call them. I, I, I wish there was more words for her right now, but she's just playing unbelievable. Yeah. It's, um, Well, the run of points comes to an end, but Some those nine summer. straight points, Five. I think, 13. have done all the damage. I remember it was four all at one stage. Now this second game has got a completely different feel, hasn't it? Also be interesting with the Australian one to see what it does for Australian bats. Yeah. We hopefully it could... Uh, help them to to compete in these uh, tournaments. Six. Now that was 13. interesting. A smash there, you've been talking about the fact that Pontit Borana Prasatsuk has been trying to go for winners and he felt that she should be rallying more. That time she aimed her smash directly at her opponent. Yeah. That's a complete change of tactics. We see the body smash, oh, that's good. We see the body smash used a lot Service in women's singles, but yeah. we hardly ever see it in women's singles. Six. Well, that's one of the, when I spoke about one of the areas where they can, you know, we spoke about the jump smash, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, smash to the body, one, when the men does it, it's because they know kind of like, it's, it's very dis difficult to play it long again. Uh, so they follow up straight away. The ladies mm -hmm. can do the same. Um, they are that quick now. They are that strong. Uh, so we'll probably see more of that. idea wrong execution 15. there's one thing we have to take into Six. consider here is that again like as i said yesterday there's also a, bit, a little bit of a height difference mm. on these two girls and that means that those cut stick shots you see from uh, song is they're actually very very steep uh, which is a very good weapon to have in the singles it opens up for a lot of other things when you can do that and of course uh, Pontip has a little bit more Service difficult over. to do that because mm. of her height. Seven, fifteen. And of course, Sung Ji Hyung. Well, I think it was three or four years ago I was given her height as 175, which is five foot nine, and I wouldn't be at all surprised if she's actually grown a little yeah. bit since then. It looks even taller than that to me. There is Pontip, 167. Oh. Oh. Service over. 16, 7. Stop. 17, 7. Touch the net. Oh, she was over with the racket over the net or something. So she got called for fault. Oh. 
Oh, that was going well wide. Oh, no wonder she struggled to then get forward to the net on her forehand side. Seven. Took her back and it was going well wide. Lost her confidence. Yeah. Seven. And uh, it was that run of nine straight points, wasn't it, for yeah. a four-all decisive but, uh, package all, of play. All credit to Songs. He's playing yeah. really, really well. So it's understandable. <laughs> yeah. Whole host of match points 20. now. Match point. Seven. Monster from this very city, Seoul in South Korea. Yeah, okay. That will do. Through to a third semi-final here at her home event. Also like the fact not only the skills of the Thailand players are always delightfully polite as well. Yeah. That's a great credit to them. And to their country. But today, Sun Kyung was just too good for Pontip Ravana Prasatsuk. Just 30 minutes for her victory. 21-13, 21-7. And she books her place in tomorrow's semi-final. But of course, we don't know yet who she'll play against. It'll either be the number three seed, Saina Newal of India, or Han Lee from China. So that's two of our five matches that have been completed. So the next of our matches here on quarterfinals day at the Victor Korea Open, the first event of the OSIM BWF World Super Series for 2013. And this mixed doubles should be an absolute cracker because it is a repeat of the Olympic bronze medal playoff match. The Danes against the Indonesians. And then, of course, we've got another men's doubles in the world number ones. Matthias Bo and Karsten Mogensen, they're up against the Asian champions, Kim and Kim. Then men's singles and the world number one, Lee Chong Wei. He's the defending champion here. He's up against Hu Yun from Hong Kong. Hu Yun has been in very good form of late. Semi-finalist at the Super Series finals. So that's what we've got coming up. Three courts in action here on quarterfinals day. And every single player, with this being the richest tournament in the Super Series calendar. One million US dollars is money on offer. It's not surprising that the players playing with absolute intensity. So there, the Olympic bronze medalists from Denmark, Jorkum Fischer Nielsen and Christina Peterson. And the current world number twos from Indonesia, Tantoi Ahmad and Liliana Natsia. 
And of course, are the reigning All England champions. First Indonesian winners of the mixed doubles at the All England Championships last year. First Indonesians for 33 years since 1979. Christian Hadanata and Imelda were game. Oh, goodness me, that's showing my age. I think I played against Imelda. I know I played against Imelda. <laughs> Dear, dear me. Memories of distance past. <laughs> yeah, let's concentrate on the present far better. And of course, Liliana Nazia, twice a world champion in mixed doubles, playing with Nova Woody Anto. In fact, played with him for seven years. Again, number one in the world, 17 titles, five of them Super Series. Oh, for the Danes, well, for this man, the left-hander, the 34-year-old born in Copenhagen. Well, this is extraordinary. The world ranking down one place to number six this week. Yesterday, they were number five, down to number six. And that's straight off the back of winning the Super Series finals. Very odd, as far as I'm concerned. But there you can see their matches. My 